Good morning my dear goingkins today we will be revising the same chapter that is the body movements from your science textbook this will be the last um, uh, topic from your this chapter that is uh, body movements so today uh, we will be revising the last two animals their guide their movements that is snail as well as yes earthworm right so here it is so basically a snail you might have seen in uh, rainy seasons that they are over on the ground and this snail has a slimy body without bones and a shell for protection right it has a pair of tentacles with eyes at the tips of its shell the snail moves with the help of a muscular organ known as the foot right it makes wave like movements by expanding and contracting the muscles that are placed at its foot right it also secretes a slimy substance known as mucus known as mucus that actually enables the snail to move with an ease or somehow slide over the this mucus is it clear okay now next to that what we have to learn is basically about the earthworm one of the um, uh, common kind of an insect that we often see in the rainy seasons and uh, the earthworm has a, uh, got an elongated body with no bones or limbs it is made up of many ring like structures right and uh, these uh, ring like segments that have muscles around it the earthworm moves from one place to the another with the help of the muscles that are placed on its rings right the muscles help it to contract and expand right because we know that uh, muscles has got this kind of a characteristic of contraction expansion and uh, this is actually helping an earthworm also to move basically this contraction and expansion actually provide body move pro, uh, you know a kind of a push that helps a body to move forward the earthworm also has a special bristles which we are considering or calling as an setae on the underside of its body right and these are used to grip the ground to move forward we have seen that earthworm uses the scales right that are or these setae to fix its uh, rear part that is the part that is under uh, near the ground right and that is how they hold it and make, they move ahead and it then uses its muscles to somehow extend then uh, the front of its body and next it fixes the front part and pulls the uh, rear and forward right so this is how they carry out uh, with the help of their expansion and contraction their guide their movement they definitely have got a special type of a guide uh, which is carried out by the expansion and the contraction of their muscles so this was all from the body movements i hope you have understood this chapter is uh, inshallah and um, we'll come up uh, with the new chapters for now i'll take a leave thank you so much